to do this project, you are going to have to uh, build your own kit. And uh, to start with the kit, the most important thing amongst all these things is this stamp. Okay, now I ordered this stamp from rubberstamp.net. I absolutely love it. I am very impressed with it. If you look closely, you can see that this is my logo and it has been engraved in this wood. And uh, I, I, it's like a laser cut. It is absolutely impressive with my website and my logo and my name. And it is very, very precise. And on the reverse side is the actual stamp it is in a flipped version okay so a mirrored image because once I stamp it onto something then we wanted to uh, read this way and so the way they have applied this to this uh, wood block is in a flipped or a mirrored version so you have to order from uh, rubberstamp.net they have these stamps in all different kinds of sizes I happen to get this one and this one measures eight inches wide by about four and a quarter inches high the actual logo itself will not be those measurements but very close to it and I believe that this is one of their largest stamps that they offer now this kit what this kit is I'm going to make my own stamp pad because I did find that the stamp pads on this website was a bit pricey and I thought that if I could just buy my own materials I could save literally substantially and I was able to and so what we have here outside of the stamp is a pair of scissors is what you're going to need some kind of container some kind of container to house your uh, foam pad or your stamp pad then I have some craft foam this is about a quarter of an inch wide and I did purchase this from Walmart you don't need a lot of that you can literally get like a, maybe a, a quarter of a yard or a half a yard of that you don't need a lot at all you want to have some rubber gloves a ruler you want to have your ink now I did purchase this ink it's um, a premium roll-on ink I am going to just uh, either take the ball off and pour it in there I don't even know how I'm going to do it but we'll figure that out on camera <laughs> and um, I have a marker and then that's it pretty much I don't need nothing else okay so let me clear the table and let's get started okay so I'm going to place my stamp pad on the side here and what I'm going to do is uh, I the stamp pad have to fit inside of this container and for the most part the container inside measures about a little less than six inches wide and a little uh, um, high and a little less than nine and a half and nine and a quarter nine and a quarter in me measure so what I'm gonna do is just pretty much cut it down so I'll measure it six inches by nine inches just so I know that it will fit directly inside of the container and so uh, nine inches wide and then six inches down so this way we know that it measures directly it will fit directly inside of the container um, so what I'm saying is I am cutting it down a little bit less than the actual measurements alright and so and this craft foam is thin so it's gonna cut very easy as you can see here very easy and now we're going to see if it fits directly so see it's still a little bit too I don't like it like this so I'm just gonna cut just maybe a quarter of an inch off because I want it to fit a uh, flush I don't it doesn't have to be tight but I just don't want it to be like that just a little bit more needs to be cut off I don't want it to be tight inside I just want it to fit nice and easy and so that's actually really good to uh, cut it down and then you have some room for growth I'm just gonna cut it down just a little bit more until I get it right okay I think I like it because I don't want it to slip around too much but I don't want it to be puckering up because it is um, too big all right I think I got it now okay all right and so I got it now after cutting it down on the sides and here we got it okay and so the next thing is um, adding the ink all right and so I want to shake it just a bit 
just a bit and now let's see how this is going to be applied so I could attempt to try to get this out of here that looks messy <laughs> if I try to take this ball or I could just try to ink it up like this I guess I can I have about three of these I'm gonna put some gloves on in a minute but I just want to see if I uh, ink it up let me see I'm thinking I should try to take this ball out what do you guys think I think I should try to take this ball out because I could be here forever trying to do this all right, I'm going to try to take the ball out, and I'll be back on camera because I don't want to get it all over the place and you see my big mess. Okay, so I am still uh, attempting to ink it up. I'm only using one glove because occasionally I have to put my finger in here, but I'm trying not to get fingerprints all around the container. And I did not take the ball off because I just kept saying, mm-mm, candy, uh, mm -mm, girl, you know you messy. And so <laughs> I decided just to um, just saturate it just like a regular stamp pad is saturated. Um, a regular stamp pad don't have ink dripping all over the place. It's just really saturated. So um, this works. This works. And I think I'm just about finished now because I see that the ink is not really being uh, soaked up as quickly. And so I'm just going to... Just kind of, and I think pretty much I've used the whole thing. So this uh, ink itself was a dollar ninety nine, and I believe I had a coupon. Um, and the coupon it brought the brought the uh, inks down to a dollar twenty nine. You know I'm a coupon girl. Okay, and so yes, I've used the whole thing, and so so far you know the. Um, the container itself was a dollar, and the uh, the foam. Now the foam, I did get a half a yard of the foam, so the half a yard of the foam came out to be like three dollars. And then I used a portion of it, so I would say maybe just a little portion of this comes down to about a quarter. So so far, twenty five cents for the uh, the foam, a dollar for the container, and a dollar twenty nine for the ink. So so far for my uh ink pad is under three bucks okay and so now that this is saturated i want to just kind of test dry you see how my uh, stamp fits in here very nice and neatly and so now i'm just going to grab the first item and we are going to give this a shot okay so i have laid this box out flat and uh, the box that I am using came from Office Max, and it just measures 14 inches high, 14 inches wide, 14 inches circumference, all the way around deep, okay? And so what I would like to do is make sure that this has a very uniformed and professional look. So what I'm going to do is uh, measure it, even though I know it's 14 by 14 by 14, but I really want to make sure that my stamp is hitting the same area all the way around. Because when you think about, you know, the larger companies like Amazon, they don't have logos all over the place. Okay, they don't have logos all over the place. It's uniform, it's nice, it's neat, and it's consistent. All right, and so the only thing is, I really want to use a pencil, and I don't even have a pencil here in my studio, because I don't really use pencils. So, let's see if I can grab something. All right, I have a pen. So I would say get a pencil. Don't use a pen like I'm using because with a pencil, you can at least erase the mark. Um, so you'll get the gist of it, okay? And so I'm measuring it. Once again, I do know that it measures 14 inches all the way around, but I want to make sure that I'm getting the middle point. So I'm going to start from here. All right, and... Start from here, and it looks like the middle point is going to be seven and a quarter. So that means that my logo should be here, here, all the way around. All right, and so that's what I'm going to do. Just lay this flat and make sure that I am being very consistent, and this logo is going to measure uh, that area all the way around. Okay. 
Let me just do the other side and then we will uh, stamp the box. Okay, so now it's time to stamp the box. And this pad is very nicely saturated. And so I'm just going to test run where I am going. And it's going to be here. All right. And one of the things I, I did want to say, though, if you find that stamping it on all four sides, measuring it up completely proves to be too much or a headache, then just do it on both sides. You don't have to do it on all four sides. Or you could do it any way you want. You're the boss, right? And so I'm just going to measure it up here. And then the thing with a stamp is, I do know you don't want to press down. You just want to saturate the, uh, the embossed or the raised areas. So I don't want ink on this area. I really want it on the, uh, the darker orange area. So I'm just going to just kind of pat. Just pat it. I'm not pressing. I'm patting. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it over. Still didn't get the whole stamp. And that's the whole thing too. You want to make sure that you are getting the whole stamp should be covered. Slowly is happening. Slowly. Almost. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to put this box down, and so this way it's on a flat surface. And so, I'm still trying to get the inside of my stamps. at that see that oh well, I'm gonna keep trying that might prove that I should have ordered this stamp from the company the stamp pad from the company but we gonna see nope it's still not coming on the inside of this stamp yet I want to keep going up oh, there we go we got it now okay so now that I'm looking at it the whole thing is covered I'm just looking to see are there any areas that are not covered because I see some pink areas Right, and so, I don't know. I'm not as confident as I thought I would be. I'm going to stamp it because we are here, and we're going to see if this works or not. And if it don't work, then it don't work, but at least we know, right? And so, I'm going to grab this box, and I am going to stamp. Now, remember, you're only going to stamp once, because once you put it down, you cannot take it up. So, let's stamp. One, two, three. I'm pressing, but I'm not shifting, and now I'm moving. Not bad. I see some drip spots, but not bad. With practice, I guess I can get better. Not bad at all. I see some drip spots, but not bad. All right, so you know what? Let me try it again and see if it comes out a little bit better. Okay, so I am going to try this on a, uh, a brown bag, all right, and I'm going to try to do things a little bit differently this time, so I'm going to just slide this over, and then I'm going to just gently press. Last time I was padding, but that didn't prove effective. Gently press, and I think maybe I should have just purchased the uh, stamp pad. Stop being so cheap. Let's see. Nope. Gotta make sure that the ink covers the entire pad and it's not doing that. Now it is. Only thing is, again, I am scared about these bubbles because these bubbles is what creates those uh, drip marks. So maybe if I get a tissue before I stamp it and get rid of those bubbles. Let me get a tissue. 
see. Or maybe I should have got a Q-tip. Okay, but I got a tissue right now. So let's get rid of these bubbles. And let's see if maybe we can avoid those drip marks because the box had drip marks. We don't want and we don't like drip marks. All right. And so and so let me move that and I'm going to bring the uh, the back here and I moved the back the bottom of it out so it wouldn't be in my way so the back could be nice and flush and stamp. Press, press, okay, and maybe that's what's causing the drip marks. I just thought about it, all that press, press. All right, and let's go. Yeah, I'm not liking that too much. No, I don't like that either. <laughs> so I want to try it again because I know that this is a good idea. I just think that, I just think that either I'm putting too much ink or maybe I should have used their ink. All right, so let's try it again. I'm going to get the box again. And let's see. All right, so this is this is dried. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good. You, you guys know that I want to tell you the truth. It doesn't look good. All right. And I don't know if it's because this is my first time doing this, but... Now that I am doing it, it, I, it looks like it's going to take some practice before you can kind of ship out on your own. And so I'm looking for drip marks again. I don't see too many because I didn't press as much as I did before. But I am going to take the tissue and just kind of assist it along with some of those bubbles because those bubbles is what causes those drip marks okay all right now let's try it again press press oh that's what I, I keep doing press press maybe I shouldn't do press press all right okay okay all right hold on I think I do understand what's going on here. All right, this one is it, it is inconsistent because of the ink. Let me just get closer so you can see. But, but I don't have any drip marks, so I guess with a little bit of practice, with a little bit of practice, I can get the right consistency, the right pressure that I'm pressing or patting, and just to make sure that there is no drip marks. Or if this proves to be a headache, maybe the $3 investment I made for the ink pads is just not worth it. It might just be worth investing. I think the ink pads, the stamp pads were like $44 or $45. It might just be worth it if it proves to avoid a headache and it proves to avoid this. But overall, this uh, stamp pad is, I'm sorry, this, um, this rubber stamp is a good idea for branding your company. However, I am saying now that with a little bit more practice, I think that I can get this. I think I can nail it. However, if you want to avoid all of this, what I'm doing, just order the ink pad. And, I, and once again, it's about 40 or 45 bucks, but I just thought at that time that it was a bit much. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm, I'm deeming this not an unsuccessful story yet because I haven't given up. I just haven't mastered it. I did this uh, straight out the box on video. And so once again, I am impressed with the stamp itself. It's just that I need to master this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think or if you have a suggestion, tell me what you think I should do. And until then, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram and the group Embroidery Boss. And I'll see you next time. I gotta keep trying. Let's see, let's try this again. All right. Ah, we got it. We got it. I knew it. I knew that's all I had to do, and I would get it. Now that's much better. Practice makes perfect.